Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel. A little different video than normal here. <laughs> hey, uh, we got Tippy all cleaned up. Billy cleaned it yesterday before the uh, hurricane rolled through. <laughs> and I uh, actually got a comment today asking, and we get these often, I just always forget right after a trip to like make a video like this because we definitely don't do it ever. But um, we get comments asking how we get them looking so flossing and how they stay so clean and uh they definitely don't stay clean that's for sure no but um we'll uh figure we make a little video showing you guys the process of how we typically clean them and uh take that as you may i'm sure there's a better method um, we don't have everything you yeah know? we and don't it have pretty good this thing hasn't even been wiped down you know with anything yet that's just straight from pressure washer and the magic we use with the pressure washer yeah so did you dry it at all or no? No, nothing. No. So uh, we got a couple different methods. Like this is the simple, typical, just, you know, power wash it, throw some stuff on it. We'll show you guys. But then, you know, if you want to get more in depth and have like a better finish, you know, um, we'll show you guys what to do for that too. So um, without further ado, <laughs> we'll show you guys Trader. He's looking pretty rough these days, you know. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Rough. So yeah, definitely, definitely got real dirty on our trip to Black Mountain, and um, Probably if you guys, the dirtiest they've ever been, to be honest. I mean, yeah. I would. I bet on it that they're the worst they've ever been. Yeah, these ones for sure. The cliffs is really bad when we go there. That mud's super thick. Yeah, that's true. But at least. Uh, one, one thing I will add is if you guys have a chance to drive through a creek or a pond or something, like a shallow like edge of a pond like some parks have, um, definitely do that before you throw it on the trailer because it'll help wash out all the leaves and big clumps of mud off the bottom of it. Yeah, the skid plate's the worst part. So unfortunately, we didn't. there was nowhere to ride and do that at Black Mountain before we loaded up, so they're just straight caked in poop, as you see. But um, And this isn't like mud riding either we're not mud boggers by any means no not at all it's just <laughs> kind of what happens it especially was, when you're 72 wide you know? it was dry there too which is <laughs> the worst part. yeah so uh all right we're gonna get the power washer set up and show you guys what we use all right guys so got her pulled over here got the power washer set up and this first step is just blast off all the loose mud i mean pretty simple <laughs> but after that, we'll show you guys what we use. So, I'm um, gonna throw a little time lapse together of him power washing it, and I'm gonna go back and start editing more videos from Black Mountain for you guys. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> she's pretty. She's pretty clean. Um, obviously, you watched us wa or me washing fast forward, but I try to start. I start with just kind of soaking the whole machine. It seems to make the mud fall off easier. I would say. So I soak the whole machine, try to get all you know in every little crevice with just soaking it, and then I'll kind of just work from top to bottom, or start with one side and go to the other side and try to get one side done. 
I mean, it's kind of all over the place because once you work top to bottom, then the top's going to be all full of crap again from the stuff from the bottom. And But top to bottom the first time, getting all the big stuff off, basically. Yeah. Then so going back again and... Yeah, and like fine-tuning the spots <laughs> and then you got to get like real deep in the skid plate and like trailing arms and like your wheels and behind the wheels and the hubs with your brakes and stuff that usually holds a bunch of stuff so i try to get in there like really good and i at least hit up probably four times each wheel outside yeah. and inside so it's it's no short process by any means but uh after that you either take your favorite cleaning um product which we we've been using and we are going to use on this one some super clean um, which I think you can get like most auto stores, Walmart, wherever. Um, stuff works pretty good. And then we got this wheel cleaner too from them. And uh, you just spray both of those on. So once you get it cleaned off like this, spray the whole rig down in this degreaser um, super clean. And then let it soak for a little bit and spray the wheels with that. And let it soak for just a couple minutes. And then it would be basically just rinse it off. And uh and go from there so you can use that stuff um, otherwise you can use like simple green I'm sure there's other stuff out there as well yeah I'm not sure I'm not positive on all this, like this different brands simple but green have been our best bets yeah for what we've always used yeah so, so uh, and make sure the machines pretty you, I like to have a damp when I spray that stuff on too and then let it sit for like two to five minutes I would say sweet so uh, shout out to super clean they hook us up with some stuff here but I mean this is truly the same stuff that we always use yeah. so um, this is the normal method for cleaning stuff and if you want to take it a step further you know you can if you don't have anything to clean it with like you could dry it right now and it'd probably be the best you could get out of it without any kind of product yeah. but then like with a with a rag dry it down um, but then if you want after that you could use some kind of like spray like no water wash for like a car so kind of like spray wax sort of and you can spray the whole rig down with that and wipe it down with like a microfiber and i mean that's your best method to get like a a super good shiny pop to it you know but that's only in some cases we don't we don't really do that often no this stuff really makes like especially on like the black like the matte plastics it'll get all that like if it just dried now it'd be like it'd still look dirty yeah, so and that would, stuff really makes it like pull that dirt out of that darker plastic, so it makes it look really good for not a lot of work. You know, you just kind of spray it and wash it off. Right. So uh, we're gonna get to that and show you guys the final product. So I don't know if you guys can really see it. Yeah, you can. But just kind of spray the whole rig down with uh, with your product. We're using the Super Clean, like we said, and uh, then we'll let it sit for a couple minutes and then go ahead and just rinse the whole rig off. Alright guys, so uh, some time has passed. This thing is nice and dry in the uh, in the garage now. But just want to give you guys a quick clip of how it looks once it's dry. Uh, looks pretty good. You know, it's not perfect, but for just a quick wash, it definitely is uh, is a pretty good method that we use to clean them up. But as you can see, you might not be able to see on camera, but you can see like it's got like water spots. It's kind of dusty or whatever, but. Uh, not really dusty but if you wanted to get really shining which we don't do all the time but once in a while we'll do something like this just spray it on wipe it off it's just a just like a quick waterless wax like a like a detailer spray i guess i'd call it but that's uh that's all we use to clean up our rigs so so yeah we get some questions about this stuff hope, hope this helped you out a little bit nonetheless figured i'd make the video and uh Hope you guys enjoy. So uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. We are headed, actually, 
the next video for you guys, you guys are gonna see Josh's new rig. So a lot of you guys know, but if you aren't following us on social media, Facebook, um, we've got a group side-by-side -side slash UTV discussion and a Facebook page, also Instagram. But if any of you guys were on that, you'd know what rig he's got already. Um, go on there, follow us if you use that kind of those kind of platforms and uh, kind of get the sneak peek on what parts and things are running of that nature. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Hit that subscribe button. Later.